Hi, this is James Brannigan, Applications Expert with Imaginate Technologies. Today we're going to take a look at how to uh, import your civil design into Twin Motion. So in this video, we're going to explore how to take your civil projects from InfraWorks and then bring it into, into Twin Motion. Before we start, a quick note here about Twin, what Twin Motion is. Uh, Twin Motion, it's a fast, real-time visualization program which easily produces high quality images, panoramas, and standard or 360 VR videos. We'll start here in InfraWorks. So I have a small model that I created from Model Builder. I added some trees, added some roadways. Um, we've got some grass area down here as well. So it's just a small model that's gonna be easy to take into uh, Twin Motion. Once we have model built, so again, if we're using Civil 3D, um, take your Civil 3D model and bring it into InfraWorks. Uh, and then from InfraWorks, we can go out to, uh, to Twin Motion. So once we have everything in here, what we need to do is to export an FBX file. To export the FBX file, we can go underneath the Present and Share tab. And then in the Present and Share tab, underneath Share, we've got Export 3D Model. If we click on that Export 3D Model, we'll get up this dialog box here. So in here, we can define the extent, whether we're going to use the entire model or not. Uh, we've got the target coordinate system that we can place, and we've got the target files. Okay, we've got a couple of different options here for the target files. We can select a single file in which everything is going to be placed into the individual uh, FBX file. So we'll just have one big F FBX file with all of the different uh, feature types. We can also split them up. Okay, so if we click on the multiple files, we can uh, get multiple FBX files for each of the different features. So in our case, we'll have one for ground, one for abutments, one for bridges, etc. A couple of the other options down here at the bottom, we've got export materials and textures. So we definitely want to export those. Okay, and then we've got the merge objects with the same texture. And again, we'll check on that. I'm going to export both file types, the single file and the multiple file. And then we can see the differences when we bring it into Twin Motion. So once we've got everything set in here, Click on export, and that will export the file types for us. Once we have our FBX files created from InfraWorks, we can bring them into Twin Motion. Okay, opening up Twin Motion, it'll look like this to begin with. Um, just having a quick look around, uh, we've got a couple of arrows on the left and the right, which will open up some more panels, which we'll get into later on. Uh, by default, this is how Twin Motion opens up a blank project. We've got a base surface, and we've got some uh, some picture in the background of, of some buildings. Okay. If I don't want the buildings back here, or I want a different default background, I can change that fairly easily. So in the bottom working area down here. Uh, the third icon down is my settings icon. Click on the settings, and in the settings, we can do things like get into the render, change the lighting, change the weather. Uh, what we're interested in at the moment is location. If I click on that location, again, I can affect the time of day. It's going to show me where I am on the map, so I can change that. It's going to show me the month. Okay, I've got a, a north offset, and then I've got that background. So if I want to change the time of day, I can grab the slider. I can also type it in uh, similarly with the month and the north offset. Clicking on that background will allow me here to select any of these different backgrounds. Okay, so again, by, de by default, it's the city. If I want to change it again to let's say mountains or the countryside or the waterfront, uh, I can just select on that, and that will change that background for me. 
to import, click on the import icon and then click on the plus here above the import. When we click on the import, uh, we get this import box come up. And in here, we've got a couple of different options. We can import geometry and we can import landscape. Biggest difference between the two, when you import the landscape, it will allow you to use your landscape tools to, um, to design the landscape a little bit better. Since we're bringing in an already designed landscape from Civil 3D or from, uh, from InfraWorks, I'm going to use the, the geometry tab to bring in the FBX. Click on open, and you can see down here all the different types of files that you can bring in. So we've got Datasmith files, we've got FBX, we've got 3DS files, all kinds of different model files that we can bring in. So navigate to where we've got that FBX. And to start with, I'm going to bring in the FBX that is, uh, is, a, is a complete file, just the combined file. So click on that FBX and click on Open. And then this will expand your box a little bit and give you some options. So we've got an option here for collapse. So we can choose whether to keep the hierarchy. We can collapse it by material or we can collapse it by all. And I'll explain that when we, when we actually attach it. We can fix the UVs and textures. We've got the up axis and then we've got the unit conversion. So when I click on import, Okay, that's going to read the data and that's going to import everything into Twin Motion for me. If we get a material conflict dialog box up here, we can choose whether to use the same material, the imported material, we can keep both, and then choose to apply to all. That'll process everything and that will bring that model in. Now, I found when bringing in a lot of my civil files, they tend to be uh, up higher. So if I want to select where it is, okay, I can expand my search or my, my, dialog box or my dialog box here where the search is. And that's going to give me a tree here that will show me everything that's within Twin Motion, okay, all of the different objects that have been imported. So in here, I can see here I've got my FBX that I've imported. And if I click down, I've got all of the different meshes that have been imported. A quick way to get to it, just right click on one of the Mets meshes and uh, click on zoom to selection. Okay, and that will then zoom to that selection for me. So zooming out here, I can then begin to see my FBX. So the FBX has been brought in. Um, it looks okay-ish. Um, for a first try, it's not great. Okay, so again, I've got the FBX. Uh, a lot of the textures were brought in, um, but they're not they're not where I would expect uh, Twin Motion to be off the bat. Okay. I found that if I re-import, then these will fix. So to re-import, I can select on the FBX. And then I can just click on the uh, re-import item. Okay. That will then go back and re-import my FBX for me. OK, with that re-import done, um, I can see a lot of the textures are starting to look a lot better. Uh, if we zoom into the trees here, again, much, much better than they were looking at before. Uh, if we go and go back and, and find that road, a lot of the textures and, and materials have now come over from uh, from InfraWorks as we would expect them to. Next, then, we'll take a look at the difference between uh, the individual files and the combined files. So since we're taking a look at the combined file here, uh, we can see that all the different meshes are just kept underneath that one uh, heading of the the IM export FBX. I've started a new scene here. Uh, and so what we'll do is we'll just go through and, and add some of those individual FBX files now. So again, click on the import, uh, click on that import. We'll use the geometry feature again. Uh, I'll just click on open. 
And then we will go into the individual FBX. And here we can see we've got uh, quite a few different FBX files that we can that we can choose from. So I'll start with the ground here. Um, just click on open. Again, I'm going to keep the hierarchy and then click on import. Okay, and that's going to then import that ground FBX. So right away, we can see uh, it much smaller number of meshes. It's now broken up into, again, the individual FBXs, which were generated by InfraWorks. Okay, I'm going to zoom to the selection again. And then we take a look. Uh, we've got, again, just our ground, uh, which was created there by InfraWorks. So if we continue adding them, again, click on my import, open my file, choose the next one. So we'll just go in and uh, add the trees. Okay, and again, keep that hierarchy. Click on import. And now we should get in, again, all of the trees. If the import doesn't come in, again, quite like we were seeing before, uh, I might need to just re-import this. So again, I can click on the trees and click on that re-import to re-import it. Again, on the tree here then, uh, much more broken down. So we've got the ground FBX, we've got the trees FBX. It's going to give us a lot more um, kind of control over what we can see and, and what we can't. Okay, one of the nice things here is using the eyes, we can easily turn off all the trees, we can easily turn off the eye. Keeping that hierarchy is going to allow you to individually select meshes based on material. Okay, so if we collapse them all to material, anytime we select within twin motion a specific material, everything with that material will select at the same time. Okay, if we collapse it right down, then anytime we just select the model, the entire model will, uh, will select. So I'm going to go ahead and continue importing uh, all of the different FBX files, and then we can take a look at uh, the final product. With all of the FBX files imported, uh, we can see that the outcome is very similar to the first option of the combined FBX. What it does give us then is much more flexibility in how to view the FBXs and, uh, and find all of the individual meshes. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please reach out and enjoy the rest of your day.